Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to build price and option a 2020 Acura NSX, as well as learn about the features and configurations. Before we do, however, I just want to remind you that if you find this build and price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. The 2020 Acura NSX might be the most affordable and reliable exotic sports car on the planet. Designed to chase down pricier supercars like the Lamborghini Huracan, the Ferrari 488, and the Ford GT, the NSX combines brilliant styling with an advanced suspension that delivers tenacious cornering abilities. Hand-built in the U.S. by a team of master technicians, the 2020 Acura NSX is remarkably affordable considering the company it runs with. The 2020 Acura NSX is available only as a two-seat, two-door coupe in a single performance specification. Power comes from a combination of a turbocharged 3.5 liter V6 engine and electric motors with 573 horsepower and 476 pound-feet of torque combined. The V6 powers the rear wheels alone and each front wheel has its own electric motor. This setup lets the car's onboard computers carefully accelerate or decelerate each wheel to keep the NSX on course during high performance driving. A third electric motor pairs with the V6 engine in common hybrid electric fashion, adding torque at low speeds and enabling very smooth engine starts. Standard equipment highlights for the 2020 Acura NSX include LED headlights, magnetic adaptive dampers, 19-inch front and 20-inch rear wheels, parking sensors, dual-zone automatic climate control, leather and simulated suede upholstery, power-adjustable seats with heating, a 9-speaker premium ELS sound system with satellite radio and two USB inputs, a 7-inch touchscreen, a navigation system, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and the AcuraLink smartphone connectivity system. A couple of packages that outfit the NSX with extra interior and exterior carbon fiber trim are also available. Standalone options include carbon ceramic brakes, upgraded performance summer tires, premium paint colors, a long list of cosmetic carbon fiber components such as a roof panel, interior trim, engine cover, and a rear spoiler. Uh, there's a different style of wheels, lightweight manually adjustable sport seats at no additional cost, and there's a premium leather upholstery and a simulated suede headliner. The 2020 Acura NSX is only offered in a single trim level and options don't fundamentally change much. That's why I recommend going light on the add-ons. If you plan on a lot of high performance or on-track driving, the pricey carbon ceramic brakes and summer tires may be justified. Okay, let's jump into this build and price review of the 2020 Acura NSX. Excited to do this car. I'm surprised it's taken me so long to get around to it. But with almost 500 videos in my library, well, you know, there's a lot of cars to be done. At any rate, here's what's going to happen. We're going to go ahead and go through these different features. We can see right here that they've got different features of the NSX. We just kind of went over an overview, but now we're going to check out the engineering features, learn about the engine, because I guess that's what they mean by power unit, dynamics, maybe that's aerodynamics and stuff like that, design, the cockpit, the interior, uh, and then they have some things about production and things like that. So we're going to go find out about the features, find out about what makes an Acura NSX an Acura NSX, and then we'll build and price one. Okay, first things first, let's find out, uh, find out about the engineering for this new Acura NSX for 2020. They make it look, watching this little s short movie they have right here, they're making it look like a serious, serious game. And you know what? Competing against cars like the Ferrari 488, yeah, it is a serious game. So let's find out about this engineering. I think it was cool to stop and take a look at this imagery right here. Building a vision. Yeah, the Acura NSX looks really cool. Here's, here it is with the body on it, and here it is with the skin off of it back here. So you can see all the engine and all the mechanical running gear and all that. Well, so far they're not saying a whole bunch. They're just really kind of talking about their precision-crafted philosophy, the, the Acura mantra. We can see them honing tools and doing different honing equipment and doing different things like that. But it looks like we can click on some of these. So let's click on some of these and see if they give us a little bit more information. They do not give us more information. It's simply just a gallery. But you know what? It's a cool gallery because, hey, check it out. We get to get a nice close-up picture of an Acura NSX engine before it's actually in the engine. Uh, 
Here's a guy doing something on some kind of machining tool. Don't ask me what that might be. And then I guess this would be the final result. It's out on the track ripping it up. Okay, so that was the craftsmanship that we learned about. Uh, I guess here they're going to tell us about the super skeleton, the ultra rigid space frame that uh, that encapsulates, the, that makes up the accurate NSX, really, because the frame is what starts. Everything has to hang on the frame. So uh, they say it's got an ultra rigid space frame. It's got the sport handling, sport hybrid, super handling, all wheel drive, and yeah, that's pretty cool. Let's uh, see if there. Well, there's a couple more slides here. Here it is. So here's the space. Here's the whole complete frame. And then we could just see it with the running chassis, I guess, maybe. And that looks really, really cool there. That's a lot of engine and suspension. That's cool how they have the radiators. You see how the radiators are on each side, the dual radiators on each side there? Maybe they'll show it with the skin on. Okay, they strip it down even more. So now we can see just really, what is this? Is that the fuel tank right there? I'm not even really sure what that might be, this here. Let's move on and see if there's another slide. And they take it down even further to just the suspension bits. Very, very cool. They take it all the way down to just the steering wheel. So, yeah, we can see how they break that whole skeleton down. That's pretty cool. Just one last note on that because I didn't scroll down far enough. It says that ultra-rigid ultra multi-material. They don't say what materials. Multi-material space frame optimizes dynamics and safety performance. Yeah, you can see how they put this thing together. It seems like they put a lot of thought into it, huh? Yeah. Okay, let's find out about this uh, hybrid unit, right? Remember I told you it's got a V6 engine. It's got a 3.5 liter V6 engine, but it's paired to a uh, hybrid power unit, an NSX Sports hybrid power unit uh, that makes it produce 573 horsepower, 476 pound-feet of torque, and it, does a top, it has a top speed of 191 miles an hour. So it's got a power drive unit uh, that manages the hybrid motor, power, and battery recharge. Yeah, here we go. There's that 3.5 liter dual overhead cam V6 engine right here. Uh, there's a 9-speed dual clutch transmission. There's a direct drive electric motor back there that's, direct re that's directly linked to the dual clutch transmission for instant response. There's an intelligent uh, power unit. Okay, I guess that's this black box here because that's what this thing seems to be pointing at, which I thought was a gas tank, which apparently is not. And then up front here, in between the front wheels up there, where they got these two big orange plugs plugging in, we kind of know where that's going. This is your twin motor unit, right? Independent left and right motors for uh, uh, active all-wheel drive. So yeah, the NSX is all-wheel drive. The two front wheels have their each, each have their own independent motor, and the rear wheels are uh, driven by an engine and a hybrid motor setup system. Here, Acura is getting real deep on philosophy over here. They're talking about something they call, I, I don't want to pronounce it wrong, and say the physics of key, Kai, key, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but they're serious about it because all the way down here, they're talking about to create key, the intangible force that makes a person or thing what it is. That's very cool. That's very deep if you think about it. In NSX, the synergy of man and machine. So, yeah, they're getting real deep with this car and talking about how it's connected and there's a oneness and all that. I like it. Okay, so here we are. We went through the engineering. So now we're on the power unit. And as you can see by this little movie they have playing in the background, they're putting together the hand building that beautiful 3.5 liter engine. Uh, let's find out about the heart of the beast. That's what they say, the power unit, the heart of the beast. Let's find out got to stop for these cool pictures because they have very cool uh, pictures for the Acura NSX. It's just super cool. We got to stop and take a look at them and appreciate them and enjoy them. They go on to just tell us it's just a reiteration of what we already know. Uh, the bespoke sport hybrid super handling all-wheel drive, the 3.5 liter engine that has a, a, a electric motor connected to it 573 horsepower they call this an absolute game changer is what they say so that's the Acura NSX that's the beginning of what they want to tell us about the power unit so let's scroll down okay really seriously uh, they say it starts with 500 horsepower so you're telling me that the 3.5 liter engine with dry sump dry sump lubrication this engine here is responsible for 500 of the 573 horsepower so the motor is doing most of the work the 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 electric engines are not well, the electric motors aren't putting out that much horsepower apparently but let's keep reading here's a nice shot of the uh, accurate nsx overhead view engine through the rear window i'm reading that right off the thing it's telling us nice guys love the description on those images they got their seo on point don't they yeah they do 
So here are some quick engine specifications at a glance. The engine itself makes 500 horsepower. The engine itself makes 406 pound-feet of torque. And the engine make, has a 10 to 1 compression ratio. As far as that torque's concerned, that makes all that torque between 2,000 and 6,000 RPM. Not bad at all. And I'm sure that hybrid motor, that's what comes in below 2,000 RPM, RPM probably to give you that quick oomph off the line. Actually, here we can see the full engine specification. So longitudinally mounted, 75 degree, 3.5 liter dual overhead cam V6, 500 horsepower, 406 torque. It's got a twin single scroll turbocharger with electronic waste gates, variable valve timing, dry sump lubrication, 10 to 1 compression, direct and port fuel injection, and it's got a drive by wire throttle. I have to say, you know, I look at a lot. I do a lot of building prices of, of cars. And if you don't know that, please subscribe. Please go check out my library. It's extensive. It's deep. I said all that to say this. Nobody seems to have put pictures out here that just kind of move and do all this. And they've really added a lot of thought and creativity and imagination to this website to make, the web, to make even learning about the Acura NSX fun. And I like it. So we'll have to stop and just take a look at their gallery. So without even having to go to the gallery directly, we have kind of have a gallery right in front of us that highlights all the exterior features. They don't really show too much interior stuff uh, because I guess this car is all about that beauty on the outside. But they're, they're attractive on the inside. Hopefully they're going to show us some interior imagery here soon. Okay, now I guess we're going to get into finding out about how the electric motor plays in with this because down here at the bottom they say think they say direct drive motor <clears throat> sandwich between the v6 engine and the nine speed dct transmission is a direct drive supercar electric motor all right and that motor that's what gives you your immediate torque and acceleration and at the track launch wheel can slice off five tenths of a second all right so there you go they've got a couple of slides here so we can go through and take a look at the setup I guess that's the intelligent power unit, right? This is the brain of the, which I thought was the gas tank, silly. The brain of the power unit is also its primary battery, positioned low and center. It sits behind the seats. I guess they didn't want to have too much battery or too much electric motor, so they didn't have to weigh the car down with too much battery, right? This has only got one battery for this car. Uh, and then one last image here. I guess that must be, yeah, the twin motor unit. That's up front. We can see it's up here, highlighted in blue between the front wheels. G loading you can feel comes with two independent electric motors at the front wheels that deal out immediate torque on the move for athletic acceleration. There you go. All right, let's move on. Okay, let's find out about this uh, nine race ready race ready I should say. Let me correct myself. Race ready nine speed DCT transmission. They say it's got super fast, smooth as silk shifting. All right, so here of course we know how they work. They're just going to show us a few slides. Here they're going to show us that, that silky smooth 9-speed DCT transmission. And I guess uh, here it is out on the road in, the, in, in an accurate NSX. But beyond that, they say they've got DCT at a glance, which gives us really the specs. So the DCT transmission has steering wheel mounted paddle shifters. There's close ratio gears for wide total gear ratio spread. It's got dual cone synchronizers. We don't know what that is. I don't. You might. Uh, high efficiency... Uh, bevel gear tooth shape most of us don't know what any of this is uh two oil rooms for high capacity cooling light compact integrated clutch case and differential carrier lightweight high strength gearbox case that makes sense to me uh, exclusive new higher viscosity gear oil all that really means to me is that gear oil must probably cost a fortune okay check this out we can get a close-up look look at this we have we have a magnifying glass so we can get a close-up look of all they really want to sell this car they are very proud of this car Acura it is clear in the layout and design of this website never have I seen a manufacturer put so much thought and creativity and technology into just selling one of their cars and so I'm very impressed by this love taking a look at that we can see the the individual coils over the um, over the cylinders there right uh nice there's a nice shot of the radiator uh here's your exhaust right there's your exhaust right there and that's probably your mufflers or whatever you call it uh yeah the, are these wheels carbon fiber or is that just the uh the look of the 
of the pitcher making it look like there's a carbon weave on the wheel. Maybe it's just the look. Maybe it's just the look because this wheel, yeah, I guess that wheel has it a little bit too. Could just be the pitcher itself. I'm not going to assume that it's got carbon, uh, carbon tires or carbon wheels. If it had carbon wheels, they probably would have already told us. Let's move on. Again, like I say, I can't get over uh, how beautiful they have laid out this uh, the pages for this Acura NSX. Uh, here's an overhead X-ray view of the power unit right here. Gorgeous. The car, the website, everything. Very happy with the whole thing. We still don't know how much the car costs, but we'll get there. We will get there. Here's some performance specs, though. Uh, it all comes together. 0 to 60, 2.7 seconds. Horsepower, 573, top speed, 191 miles an hour. This car gets down the road, buddy, or up the road, as they say. Okay, so we learned about the power unit. We learned about the 9-speed DCT transmission. Let's find out about the dynamics. They say the physics of exhilaration. They say the Acura NSX, the 2020 Acura NSX, is ready for anything. I love these little intro photos they do right below. I mean, ugh, I just love them for this site. I just love them for this site. I love the pictures. They're all just great. I'm going to have to make one of these a wallpaper. But wait, there's more. They say that 2020 Acura NSX is more than one supercar. Its dynamic range flexes to reflect its driver's mood, responding to every input with absolute fidelity. Weekend touring or competitive tracking, commuting, or negotiating a mountain pass, the Acura NSX adapts and supports and partners with its driver. Whoa, that must be that key they were talking about. There it is right there, buddy. Ladies and gentlemen, let's move on. Here we'll take a second to enjoy the movie that they quickly have. It's just a little clip of a couple of Acuras out in the desert, obviously doing the speed limit. All right, let's move on. They say it begins with core strength. Ultimate rigidity is the holy grail of dynamic sports car performance achieving it demands complex engineering which is why they showed us all that stuff the nsx they apparently are telling us they got it so let's click these little uh these little uh circles here and find out what they're going to tell us about the uh the holy grail the ultimate the dynamic the ultimate rigidity this complex space frame here so let's click this so it says aluminum gdc castings uh, cast aluminum nodes serve as joining points and ultra-rigid mounting points. Okay, got that there. Then we have aluminum ablation castings. Another world-first accurate engineering innovation is utilized in key crush zones, helping ensure top crash safety performance while maintaining optional structural rigidity. Up here, looking like it's on the A-frame or the A-pillar, we can see it highlighted in blue over here in the picture, is UHS Steel 3DQ A-pillar. Uh, Three-dimensionally bent and quenched ultra-high-strength steel tubing. Uh, there we go. We don't know what any of that means, but they're telling us that it's the stuff, that it's awesome, apparently. Aluminum extrusions. Uh, there you go for your space frame. It's got aluminum extrusions. And last but not least, I'm not going to even try to explain these anymore. Aluminum stampings. Uh, they're utilized as lightweight closure panels for the rear floor, rear bulkhead, and the B pillars. Okay, it's about control. Dynamics is the magic that happens when precise control creates absolute freedom. So what are they going to tell us here? They're going to say, oh, this is about, uh, case in point, the sport hybrid super handling all-wheel drive system. So they're going to say show more. Let's click this, see what that says, and then we can move on. They're just telling us a little bit more about the uh, super handling all-wheel drive, how it applies true torque vectoring with every turn, how it's got the twin motor unit that directs torque to each front wheel, and all that, and how that translates to faster lap times, uh, just more confidence driving experience, and all of that there. And here's a better shot of, of what torque vectoring could be doing, right? All these wheels might be doing this, but torque vectoring could be slowing this wheel down, I suppose, to help keep you in control sort of kind of thing. Apparently, the 2020 Acura NSX has impeccable road manners because of its awesome suspension, I guess. So here it is showing its full suspension and its beautiful body. Full suspension, beautiful body. Suspension, body. There we go. Let's move on. 
Okay, so moving on, they're basically telling us that this car has those magnetic shocks, those magnetic ride shocks that like Ferrari has, some of the top Cadillacs have, and a lot of more that a lot of high-end cars are starting to pick up that magnetic ride because these magnetic dampers, I can't even pronounce this word, magnetic I can't pronounce that even that word, but it's the third generation of their magnetic dampers, and it responds to the road more than 1,000 times per second. Uh, and so, yeah, and apparently, yeah, there you go. They they mentioned 200 miles an hour, yet they tell you that the top speed is only 191 miles an hour. At any rate, it doesn't matter. Okay, now they're going to tell us about the braking system for the 2020 Acura NSX. The Acura NSX features uh, high-performance Brembo hydraulic brakes and hybrid regenerative braking system. There you go. Uh, yeah, and for I think the the high the regenerative braking started in Formula One. They called it Curs back then. I don't know what that was an acronym for, but yet I know that because I used to watch Formula One. Okay, let's find out about this dynamic mode. Look at the button. It says dynamic mode. They say dynamics at play. So yeah, there's dynamic mode for the transmission. There's there's quiet mode. Right in quiet electric mode, NSX is near silent. Gauge is illuminated, a tranquil blue. Ideal for neighborhood driving when quiet is at a premium. Okay, so that's one mode. Then you can wick it up to sport mode, and this is the default mode. Default mode is sport. Dynamics become more pronounced for a feeling of controlled power. Sound is low and throaty as a 500 horsepower engine comes to life. Gauges show a subtle gray. Sport mode is perfect for city driving, quick, agile, and athletic. Then there's Sport Plus. So Sport Plus, faster shifting, aggressive throttle mapping, explosive acceleration, and increased agility. And now your gauges uh, glow red with a brilliant yellow, yellow con trail along the tack needle. Right, there you go. There's one more mode, though. And that's track mode. And in track mode, the, engine, the gauges glow uh, bright red. Engine eight, intake sound is unrestrained. Yeah, it's all out track mode, aggressive settings. Fastest most uh, lap times. This is where the Acura NSX is as fast and as good as I guess it can be. And the rest is left up to you, the driver. So we can find out a little bit more about the integrated dynamics at a glance. Uh, it says the NSX integrated dynamic systems customizes 11 components according to mode. So there's the electronic HMI, human machine interface, electronic steering assist, electronic brake assist, active suspension dampers, <clears throat> electric torque vectoring. Uh, EV operation, battery management, engine sound, vehicle stability assist, shift mapping, and accelerator mapping. Okay, let's check out design. It says form follows function. Gosh, boy, the Acura NSX just looks beautiful, doesn't it? I'm sitting here talking about this, thinking about what we're going to do next, looking at the car, thinking, oh, in my mind. It's gorgeous. I love it. The more I look at it, the more I like it. Don't even care that it has an electric motor. I'm normally not even about any of that stuff. Don't even care with the Acura NSX. Okay, extraordinary by design, they tell us. Okay, well, let's find out more. Let's start off with the cool gallery that they give us that we don't even have to scroll through. They're scrolling through the gallery for us. Let's check out the top a little bit, get some cool gallery images. We still haven't seen any interior photos, but I think our next module, I think the next, uh, next set of features we're going to learn about is the interior. So there's hope, folks. There's hope. We will be able to see the interior here coming up soon. They say appreciating the intricacies. So front, what does this do? Side, rear. Okay, so they've got some things they want to tell us. So up front, what are they going to tell us down here at the bottom first? Explore the nuances of NSX styling. All right, let's explore the nuances of the NSX styling starting from the front. So long aerodynamic side mirror extensions prevent air disruption and provide excellent visibility beyond the large rear intakes. Yeah, I guess they got to hang out a little bit because the car's wide. We've got these air entering from the front grills, cools the twin motor unit, uh, exits through these vents, and is reintroduced to the rear intakes downstream. They're controlling that airflow. Uh, there's a visible fender peaks help the driver better position the car in curves. Oh, nice. What are they going to say about the lights? The Acura low wide jewel eye headlight styling is striking with six beam LED headlights. Okay, uh, down here. Uh, seven heat exchanges, I think those are also known as radiators, are positioned behind the front and single and side grills to provide cooling for the engine, transmission, front motors, battery, and other components. Yeah, <clears throat> all this performance gets hot, buddy. It gets hot. So you got uh, to cool all that. 
All right, let's move on to the side and find out about those nuances. Okay, here we are at the side. They got four intricacies. Let's check them out. Uh, floating C pillars increase airflow to the rear engine vents. Okay. Uh, floor, flush door handles allow uninterrupted airflow to the side vents and pop out to greet the driver when the smart key is sensed. Okay. Uh, slender A pillars help create a panoramic view of the front of, from the cockpit. That's nice. You can actually see out the front window. Nice. They thought about that. You don't want those A-pillars too thick. Uh, fender vent assists in brake cooling and reduces pressure buildup in the wheel well. And that has to do with going fast. So you can extract some of that air so it doesn't all just gather up underneath the car. So you can keep the car down on the ground. All right. Let's check this bad boy out for the rear and then we can move on. So they've got, what, five things here? Let's start at the bottom. Uh, our outer exhaust outlets are used for quiet and sports settings. Wider inner outlets open to bypass silencers, silencers in Sport Plus and Track Mode. Okay. Then we've got uh, hidden air vent between spoiler and tail lights help reduce aerodynamic disruption and thus drag from air flowing over the roof. We've got engine visible through rear window. There you go. We've got center mount high stop light is integrated as well as to the near invisible brake light, right? So it's just integrated nice and smooth on there. Kind of like a BMW 650i Grand Coupe. They do it very beautifully as well. Um, thin flying wing tail lights. Yep, cool. I like it. All that looks good. Let's move on. Let's move on and find out about the art of interwoven dynamics. We don't even know what that is, but we're going to find out uh, a marriage of design and engineering, all right? There was one unassailable design rule. Every aspect of the car must serve a purpose. So while NSX aesthetics are unmistakable, they're not simply a matter of allure. Every character line, body panel, shape, and crease, every airflow intake, outlet, every proportion, ratio is optimized to support its dynamic performance. So yeah, here it is. Form does truly follow for function with the 2020 Acura NSX. What's this all about? It says tuned for aero. All right, that's your aerodynamics. NSX takes aerodynamics to a whole new level, right? Three times the downforce at the rear end. Yeah, they got it right here, buddy. Let's let's check. Let's take a look at this. So, sculptural wheel uh, well vent. There's a graceful flying buttress C pillar. It's so close we can't even really see it. Slender horizontal aperture, and the patented design diffuser strakes. All right, these are some of the things that are that make this uh, 2020 Acura NSX tuned for aero. We're not going to play the movie, but we can see how they're showing the airflow uh, management uh, going over the car, going through that rear, the, the air extractors through the hood and all of that up and around the car, even through the wheels. They say the beauty of airflow management, the ability to tame wind, isn't a myth. Aerodynamics is proof of that. And when you're talking about high performance, you got to be able to control that airflow. So it says front air takes, front airflow intakes, maximize cooling across key heat exchangers from front and back. Uh, front airflow exits improve airflow and provide downforce as they direct air to intercooler intakes and engine vents. Uh, over here, you got the side airflow intakes. Airflow stabilized by front vents and body shape uh, enters the side intakes to cool the turbo intercoolers. Yeah, you got to cool those big turbos, buddy. Uh, the aerodynamic shape, this directs the uh, airflow down the rear glass to cool the transmission and engine room. They don't call it a compartment. They say the engine room. And then last here is bespoke cooling subframe. Rear brakes are partially cooled via spe specially tuned air deflectors directing air through the subframe. I guess Acura found this statement so profane that they had so profound that they had to write they had to put it down. So one of their designers, the large project leader, uh, says the NS the NSX is a visual expression of beautiful design and performance working together. Yay, we finally made it. We finally get to see what the inside of a 2020 Acura NSX looks like. So, so far, so good. I don't really care for the leather and suede interior. I can tell you that right now. I would want to option ours in all leather. Hopefully, I think that is an option. We can option it in all leather, and we will. But uh, let's scroll down for more. 
finally find out what they're going to tell us about the Acura NSX on the inside. So this is probably where we're going to find out more about the technology and all that kind of stuff. What kind of the, the, the infotainment. Hopefully they're going to tell us stuff like that. We'll see. But they're probably going to have more of a perform performance-oriented theme. We're probably not going to find out too much about, uh, you know, blind spot assist or something like that. Okay, high fidelity response. So the synergy of man and machine begins here. They are really deep with all this, where the sense of NSX as an extension of self becomes tangible. I guess that means when you're on the inside, when you're on the inside, in the interior. Here's a nice shot of the interior there. You got your beautiful uh, leather and carbon fiber steering wheel. Looks like it's flat on the bottom and a little bit flat on the top. Super chunky. You got those beautiful uh, paddle shifters. You got this beautiful flowing uh, center stack down here. Here's some nice close-up shots of your instrument cluster and your infotainment and all that. Doesn't look super high, like super high technology, like say an audio or a Porsche does. As far as the infotainment screen looks like. But you know what? I'm sure it gets the job done. And I'm certainly not complaining about it. Uh, it says functional minimalism. Uh, simplicity in form and elements essential to space. So they're talking about these seats. They're, they're pretty gorgeous. It says the NSX interior was precisely engineered to create a richly supportive domain for the driver. Even those whose heights is in the 95th percentile. So even if you're super tall, they're saying, this car is going to be comfortable for you. And they also say that the seat materials were selected for their performance. I like that. Can we get a closer shot of these seat materials? Looks, That's a beautiful picture, by the way. That's what I'm getting at, talking about. They've just thought, put so much thought and detail into everything, not just building the car, but building the website for the car. I mean, it's just an extension of how much thought they've put into building this car. That's why I'm impressed. Uh, what a great car. Uh, great website, great car. I'm very, very impressed. Uh, let's move on. Here they're showing a beautiful shot of the pedals, uh, communicative feedback in NSX, the connection between man and machine. Uh, I think it was like it has a drive-by wire kind of set up there. Um, yeah, here's your steering wheel and all that stuff. We're just kind of scrolling through some of these faster slides here. It says hands-on control. So let's find out about this. Racing inspired. The racing inspired shape, I guess, of the steering wheel allows an unobstructed view over the top and greater leg clearance at the bottom. That's why it's a little flat at the top for better visibility over the wheel and a little flat at the bottom for greater leg clearance at the bottom. You just don't need all that extra roundness. Uh, finger holds, they say. That's right here and here. Slightly indented finger holes are located at both the 10 and 2 and at the 9 and 3 to satisfy the preferences of most drivers. Okay. Tailored leather wrap is finished with hidden stitch. Stitching for an unencumbered grip. Very nice. Nice touch. Racing inspired shape allows it. Yeah, okay. I guess we went through all of those. Was there one more here? No, I guess uh, I guess we got went through all of them. All right, let's move on. It says view to the horizon. What do they mean by that? What do they mean? Do they have anything to say? No, they don't. They just have a nice shot. Here's a carbon fiber uh, instrument, uh, top of the instrument uh, bezel there. Nice shot of the side mirrors. Okay, we got all that stuff there. Um, yeah. Let's keep on moving. There's a shot of the engine. they got to throw that engine in there. The power of acoustics. So what do they tell us about here? So there's a quiet mode. There's a sport mode. There's a sport plus and track modes. And then based on those modes, that's going to kind of dictate how loud the Acura NSX's exhaust is. So in quiet mode, the gas is passed through the silencers. Sport mode, the exhaust valves open on driver demand. And on Sport Plus and Track Modes, exhaust bypasses the silencers entirely for a full-out super awesome sound, no doubt. Speaking of super awesome sound, here's the, uh, how many speakers is it? It's the ELS system with nine speakers, their stereo system, the audio system. Uh, it's got an ELS first rear center speaker. It's got 500 watts of power. Uh, yeah, it's the premium audio, and that's what's available for the 2020 Acura NSX. Here's a diagram of how all the speakers lay out. Your front center speaker, left A-pillar tw tweeter, and all that stuff there. So that's your layout for all your speakers. Okay, we're about ready to do the building price, but real quick, we're going to go over two more features. We're going to go over this whole find out about the production. I think after, after seeing how much care and everything they put into 
to designing and, and building this Acura NSX, it's worth kind of seeing what they do at the factory to put this bad boy together. And then after that, they have something about their NSX GT3, and that's their race car. So let's just find out about production. Let's find out a little bit about their race car, and then we'll go ahead and do the build and price of the uh, 2020 Acura NSX. Check it out. Here's an exploded view of the car with all the pieces. Well, probably not all the pieces, but some of the pieces. Check it out. They say, and I'm going to skip around here so we can kind of speed through this, this section a little bit. They say, although there are machines at work, the enormous robotic MIG welding machines are hard to miss. PMC is largely a human operation. We're close to 100 of the top accurate engineers and production associates go about meticulous business of creating built-to-order supercars. So you get, you probably get hand-picked to come over to this factory and build the Acura NSX. you got to be doing a heck of a job, buddy. That's the whole deal. Here they are showing the cars being put together and its employees. Made in America. Step inside the Performance Manufacturing Center. See how it's engineered. We're not going to go ahead and click the movie. But like I said, we just want to go ahead and check this out. Naturally occurring innovation. Here's the factory, boy. Hand engineered. Love it. Love it. Labor of love. We know it. That's the layout. There's a machine doing some painting. There's a human finishing up some painting. Master craftsman of every step. Beautiful. Love it. Okay, so, yeah. They say they've got more. That's got a 4,000 square foot facility here. Let's go through some of these slides. Piston heads and connecting rods. Let's go back. What was that? Uh, handcrafted precision. Yeah, an uh, engineer builds the car. Uh, builds the engine. NSX engine assembly room. Yeah, very cool. Very cool. There's the body by the numbers. So it's got 11 pending or granted patents. There's 22 stations and 100 elite associates to build this car. All right, let's quickly just breeze through uh, their race car. Because, you know, to make their to make them legit, everybody has to go racing, right? To be legit in high performance, you got to go racing, buddy. So they got the NSX uh, GT3. Woo! Looks gorgeous. We're just going to kind of scroll through this stuff real fast. It's got a 3.5 liter twin turbocharged V6 engine. It debuted in 2016. They call it the NSX GT3 Evo. Next stage of evolution of racing. Uh, two years of intensive testing I saw there. Here's some nice shots of that mo of the car forged in, shared, in a shared cubicle or crucible. Here we can kind of see the skin, the racing skin. That's probably almost the same one as the, as the, uh, as the street production car. Uh, the NSX is for racers only. Yeah, we're not going to get too deep in it. Here's an all-carbon fiber one. That looks pretty cool. That looks super cool in all-carbon fiber, doesn't it? Yeah, that's got to cost a fortune. Carbon fiber is cool, but it's not the end-all, be-all for as far as I'm concerned. But yeah, so yeah, there it is. Okay, so we found out everything we need to know about the 2020 Acura NSX. Now, let's go do our build and price. Okay, so here we are. We're going to do our building price. And, of course, Acura being doing something amazing with this site. They're, they've got this the car configurator laid out in a way that I've never even seen. But I do see up at the top right-hand corner here, we've got a start. we got a price. We do have an MSRP on this car. 2020 Acura NSX, Acura NSX, $159,495. They say the first thing we need to do is choose colors. Well, that's fine. But how can we choose the colors when they just really kind of have all this stuff they want to tell us about all the colors? They tell us that the, each NSX is individually painted and hand-finished. The entire paint process occurs in-house over the course of more than 20 hours per car. I guess that's why. They're taking the time to really tell you, hey, this is a real big effort. It's a real big production. The racing heritage. Yeah, all this stuff is good, but now I just want to pick a paint color. So let's try to figure out how we can pick a paint color. Okay, maybe this might be some paint colors. It says Curva Red, 130R White, and Berlina Black. So are they telling us that those are our only uh, colors that we get to choose from? Perhaps. No, not true. Here's an Indy Yellow Pearl. Here's a Casino White Pearl. Here's a Thermal Orange Pearl. And a Source Silver Metallic. Okay, I'm kind of getting how they're laying this out here. They're telling us about the, the paint process and all that, but then they're systematically giving us a few colors along the way. So here's a Nouvelle Blue Pearl. Um, here's a Valencia Red Pearl. All right, that might be it on their color palette. Let's keep going. Okay, so now that they've told us everything they wanted to tell us, like showing the whole paint booth and people painting and 
Each car is then individually inspected by a paint team. I mean, it's cool to know all that, but we kind of get that they're gonna they're taking it to a whole new level. It's a very high uh, high end game. We get it, but now we want to build a car. Curva red, Berlina black, 130R white, uh, Indy yellow cost you a thousand dollars. Thermal orange, all these will cost us more money. Um, you know what? I don't really care for any of the uh, more expensive paint colors. And this Valencia red and the Novell blue will cost you an additional $6,000. You know what? I'm going to stick with the white. The white looked pretty good to me. I'm going to go with the 130R white. So let's go with the 130R white. And now we can move on to the next module. And then, of course, they got to tell us about all of that. But we'll get through it. Let's move on. All right. Now here we are on interior. So here's the interior. They call it Indigo. Uh, and then there's the Ebony interior. But that looks like it's, it still looks like it has ebony and alcantara. There's an orchid. There's a saddle. And then there's a red interior. Okay, we're going to get to that. I guess it's got to load that. There's the red interior, but there's a scroller, so there's more. And then there's the seats. So let's find out about seats. So here's your seats. Seats with aniline leather. Here's seats with, uh, whoops, some combinations aren't available. All right, so if you choose, if you order Milano leather Alcantara manual seats, you must do the following. Well, we don't really want, we want full leather seats is what I want. I want full leather seats. Sort of seems like the only available option for full leather seats are red leather. If that's the case, then that's fine. That's fine. But, uh, so your interior, I guess you could pick how you want your interior laid out as well. So let's go back to the interior. And I guess we're choosing red interior as well. We've got the red interior. We have the red full leather. And again, they're just kind of breaking down their functional beauty. They're breaking down all these different things, the form, the textures. We're not going to go through all this stuff because now at this point, I just want to do the building price. So yeah, just to confirm, we have the red interior. We have the red interior just to confirm and not any of the other ones because they do have the black oh hang on one second if we choose black interior do we then get all black leather hold on one second let's go back up to the top of the page yes that was right okay so how we worked is i went over here at first i had red and so that's going to give you all your shades of different red interiors so then i went over here i thought oh wait a minute we got to do ebony interior then we do we say we want the ebony interior then when we choose seats now we have the uh Full leather seats that are a thousand dollars in black okay now we got that let's move on to our wheels so we got some wheel options here uh, the signature Y spoke wheels there's nothing wrong with that there's these exclusive interwoven machine wheels and no I'm not feeling those what do these look like not feeling those and I'm not feeling those let's just stick with actually let's stick with the signature Y spoke wheels those are fine to me the other ones none of those look so great that I think that we need to change anything. Uh, as far as brakes are concerned, I guess we just get to. We don't. I don't think we need carbon ceramic rotors. I'm not. I, if I own this car, I probably wouldn't be taking it to the track. Uh, just for some color separation, I like the red brake calipers. Seven hundred dollar option, uh, and the rest of that stuff is carbon ceramic stuff, so we don't need to be bothered with that. Then we've got exterior sport package. Um, what does the exterior sport package entail? And then there's the carbon fiber exterior sport package. So let's see if we can find out what the exterior sport package, what it all has. Okay, here we go. Thank you. Exterior packages. So the exterior sport package has a black front spoiler, black side sills, black rear diffuser, chrome exhaust finisher. Uh, the carbon fiber exterior package uh, has a carbon fiber uh, spoiler, side sills. I'm, I'm into the carbon fiber stuff. And then they say that also requires a carbon fiber engine cover. That's probably at some additional cost. You know what? I don't really care. I think we're going to go ahead and grab the carbon fiber exterior sport package. Looks like we have to select it. Uh, yeah. And then the engine cover is $3,600. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and grab that. And now we're sitting at $173,795. let us move on. Now we get to pick our rear spoiler. So, so far we have a body color rear spoiler. Uh, or we can have a carbon fiber rear deck lid spoiler. I think I want to do carbon fiber rear deck lid spoiler. Okay, now we can close that. Let's move on to engine cover. We actually have the engine cover. We already have that. We had to get that to get the carbon to get the exterior package. Let's move on to headliner. Our headliner, we can have a black cloth or we can have the black Alcantara headliner. We're definitely going to do the Alcantara headliner. 
uh, the carbon fiber interior sport package. I didn't even know there was an interior sport package. So apparently we got to add that to get the black anterior, uh, black Alcantara. So here we go. We're going to do that. Now we're sitting at $180,000. Let's move on. Okay. So here's that interior package. Let's find out what that all included real fast. Hang on a minute. Okay. So here are those packages. So that original package, the signature interior package gave you the leather wrap steering wheel, metallic silver steering wheel spokes, Alcantara, meter visor and a brushed aluminum pedals and footrest the carbon the, with the other package the carbon fiber interior sport package we got the carbon fiber upper steering wheel rim carbon fiber steering wheel spokes carbon fiber meter meter visor so that all costs twenty five hundred dollars okay now we can move on to whether or not we want the technology package or not so we have the do we want the technology package the ELS audio plus technology pack or the ELS Audio Plus Technology Pack and Sirius XM Radio, which is plus $500. Well, let's find out what's all included in the ELS Studio Audio Plus Tech Pack. Okay, here we go. So the ELS Studio Audio Tech Pack gives you uh, next generation navigation and proximity sensors. Uh, and the only difference is you get Sirius XM Radio. I don't care about Sirius XM Radio. So we're just going to stick with the basic ELS Studio Audio Plus Tech Pack. Okay, moving on. Now we can choose: Do we want our roof? Uh, do we want our roof in black aluminum, or do we want it uh, black aluminum with a Sirius XM uh, antenna, or do we want carbon fiber? We want just carbon fiber. Just give us the carbon fiber roof, my friend. Give us the carbon fiber roof. That's a six thousand dollar option. We're sitting at one hundred eighty-six thousand five hundred ninety-five dollars. Uh, let's let's see what they have for accessories. Let's check out accessories. Do we need a battery charger? You might, because you might not drive this all the time. But you know what? We're not going to worry about that. Cargo net, car cover. We're just kind of checking them out, see what they got. Protection film, carpet floor mat set. You got it. You don't get a floor mat set for this much money. Okay. Uh, give me the carpet. Give me the floor mats for twelve hundred dollars. Uh, I do want the. Uh, they've got like what? I can't quite see it. This door sill trim. Illuminated carbon fiber door shields trim. We can't quite get it to come on the screen, but you can see it right there in the right corner. We're going to get that. We got tire totes, wheel bolt locks. Yeah, I like it. Pretty cool. Uh, other accessories are forge wheel set. Yeah, we, we don't need any of that. All right, let's go on to the summary. Uh, yeah, there you go. So here we are at the summary. We have built our, we've learned all about the gorgeous, beautiful 2020 Acura NSX. It started life, I think, somewhere around $149,000 or something. But now we're sitting at just under $190,000. We had $189,420. We got that uh, all the beautiful paint and all of that. Now, it says print summary. Can I print off this build summary? Because if I can, I'd be happy to share it with you. Yes, I can. So as you can see here, I can print off this build summary and save it as a PDF. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a link to this build summary in the description below so if you want to just check it out or if you're really in the market for a 2020 Acura NSX and you want your spec out just like I did mine then you could download this build summary take it right to Acura and they'll hook you up okay so that's it we learned all about the gorgeous magnificent beautiful 2020 Acura NSX I'm not only impressed with the car I'm impressed with everything the website everything Acura they they were on their they left no stone unturned. I'm just impressed. This car is on point from front to back, top to bottom. So, yeah, there you go. All right, that's it. We we're almost 50 minutes into this bad boy. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. If you watch this video from front to back, you're awesome. Thank you. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Other than that, I'm going to tell you to have a wonderful day, and I'll see you on the very next video.